Hey peeps, what's up Manji here, back with another video and in case you've gotten yourself a brand new iPhone or planning to move your data from your Android device to your iPhone, that is what we're going to do in this video. So we're going to transfer data from my Pixel 7 to this iPhone 14 Pro over here. Now before we get down to the actual steps, let us talk about the prerequisites which you should be aware of off so for starters both these devices should be on the same wi-fi network and it is recommended that you have a good wi-fi connection because that is how the data transfer is going to take place then do not be doing this process if your battery is at one or two percent make sure you have at least 20 or 30 percent of battery and of course while the data transfer from android to ios is taking place connect your phones to the charger then the other thing you need to make sure is that there is enough space on the iphone now do note that there are certain iphones which come with base 64 gb and you might have an android device wherein you have you know 72 gb of storage used so in that case if your pictures are more than 72 gb they won't fit on the iphone so you need to make sure that there is enough space on the iphone Next thing you need to make sure is that all the applications on your Android device are updated to the latest version from the Google Play Store. And before you ask me, Hemanji, what are all the things which get transferred? Here is a screenshot and you can, of course, pause over here and read. But your media, your contacts, your pictures, videos, photos, messages all those things get transferred without any issues including your apps now do note in certain applications you might have to log back in on your apple iphone then with respect to whatsapp now with respect to whatsapp everything except your call history on whatsapp gets transferred and again make sure you have updated to the latest version of whatsapp on your play store so here it is on the right we have my pixel 7 this of course is running android 13 on the left we have the iphone 14 pro now the first thing you need to do is you will go to the google play store and herein you will search for an application called move to ios and then we are going to install this application now while the application is installing we can go to our iphone and we can choose our language as english super important thing to note is that if you want your whatsapp chats to be transferred then you do have to factory reset your iphone or set it up from the beginning here and of course you have to choose your country and region and then we are going to say set it up manually now Another important thing to note is that make sure you connect them to the same Wi-Fi network and this is the one which I'm going to use in this video. So I just punched in my password on the iPhone and I'm going to say join. At this point it will connect to the Wi-Fi on my iPhone 14 Pro and again you see it is telling me it might take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So for data and privacy we will say continue face id we will say set it up later on for the passcode you can set one up right now or you can go into passcode options and say don't use passcode for now and select it one more time now on this screen apps and data we're going to say move data from android and if you have an android phone or tablet you can transfer your photos messages and more on this iphone so download the move to ios app so we downloaded that already on our google pixel 7 we're going to say open over here and apple's privacy policy say agree then we're going to say continue over here and agree and app usage do you want to send it do you don't want to send it i say don't send location permission is required so we're going to say continue and we will say while using the application notification is required continue and allow device location required so because it is using the wi-fi i have to enable the location on my pixel 7 so let me do that so i just enabled the location and then we can go into settings and it detected that the location was enabled and we're going to say continue then it is telling us find the 
code right now if you do not see a code on your ios device make sure you are in the ios setup assistant and have selected move data to android so we're going to say continue on the iphone now and here is the code 820253 and that is what we're going to enter 820253 and as you can see both of them are preparing it is telling me waiting for pixel seven now you can choose what all data you want to transfer and these are your options so let us say i want to transfer messages and again you need to give it the permission so we're going to say allow over here then contacts allow over here as well google account photo library allow access whatsapp super important we're going to say start over here and it is getting the charts ready and creating a backup of whatsapp right now so there it is it is telling me almost done you will be redirected to the move to ios app to complete the transfer so we're going to say next and whatsapp is checked and at this point we're going to say continue on the google pixel 7 and as you can see the data transfer has now started and it is telling me there is a specific amount of time remaining it is still estimating that but you can let the screen turn off that is absolutely fine it is 14 minutes but make sure that both your devices are connected to a charger because you do not want your battery to die out while you are transferring your data from your android device to your iphone now once the process has finished successfully you will get transfer complete notification on both your android device and the iphone and of course apple says you know you can recycle this android device for free at any participating apple store we'll just laugh that off and click on continue now at this point your data has been transferred from your android to your iphone and you can continue with the setup process on your iphone so if you already have an apple id you can use that to sign in and if you do not have one then you can create one over here so let me sign into my apple id now once you've signed in with your apple id you'll have more terms and conditions to agree to and again it is telling me it may take a few minutes to set up your apple id so you have to be patient now at this point you can always you know if you have another ios device you can click continue over here and get your apps and data from the other device as well which is sharing the same apple id but at this point you can always disconnect your pixel or your android device from the charger and keep it on the side and continue setting up your iphone now another important thing to note over here is that during the setup if you have an iphone with an eSIM, you will get the option of using a qr code now in case you do not have a qr code you can always select setup later in settings and there it is we now have the message welcome to iphone swipe up to get started and now it is telling us to set up our cellular once again we'll say not now and use this iphone when sharing your location we will say not now over here as well now as for the applications which you had on your android device they will be in your application drawer or on your home screen on the iphone when you swipe over to the other home screens and you will see a down arrow beside that application tap that and it is going to download that very application from the apple store and there it is peeps that is how you transfer all your data from your android to your iphone and move over from android to ios and before you ask me hey Manchi, how was your experience of moving data from android to ios well i think it was pretty seamless and pretty easy it is super impressive to see apple make something of an android app which can transfer almost all the data which you have on your android device to your iphone and another important thing is with respect to your whatsapp so once i had transferred all the data set up my eSIM on the iphone i had network on the iphone from the same number which i had over here on my pixel 7 i opened the whatsapp application registered it it found the backup which we had just transferred from our android to our iphone and everything was restored without any issues so again pretty easy to switch from android 
to iOS, it's not a difficult process. It is pretty easy as long as you follow the steps and you are patient.